Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for AwesomeCast.net. This is your mini Awesome Cast for Tuesday, April 14th, 2015. And uh, today we're talking about Amazon. Big story coming out of Engadget today, actually two days ago. But hey, this is our first show of the week. Um, but Amazon is working on, uh, they have web service actually, uh, are, that are smart enough to make predictions. And this is part of their web services that they've added um, as they've been building that over the time and over time. And of course, Amazon very much becoming a technology company, a technology company sending you little buttons to buy more Tide. It, it's really interesting when it comes to that. But they are and a uh, holy diversification, um, Amazon. Uh, they, they they're talking about uh, you know the, the potential save your time. They've added a, a new machine learning feature for web services, according to Engadget, that lets any developer use a computer intelligence to make predictions instead of having to sift through data yourself and spend ages fine tuning the algorithms. You let the servers do it. Uh, Amazon claims that it took 20 minutes to solve one problem that previously took 45 days so this is giant holy crap cluster computing um by the people that send me toilet paper uh, again with the diversification uh they've become a, a very interesting you know we talk about a lot of times google and and, and google just reaches out and does all these moonshots and these other uh, uh, uh projects and prizes just because they have so much extra cash flow because the search uh, just just exploded and the other things that they have just bringing in so much money they can just do this looking for that next thing amazon has a is is not an explosion of cash they actually their profits are not that great uh because they keep reinvesting in themselves to the point where they built this and, and and i believe most of the web services that they've built and offered are things that they built for themselves to do what amazon.com does better and now they offer it to other people to help them in their services it's a new business cash flow for them um so it's really interesting to see these different philosophies you know um, um happen and bringing different versions of innovation like this and now amazon you can do this you machine learning uh, a little higher end than i'm i'm really kind of into um but uh they're saying according to the in gadget the service could make a big impact on more than just a uh, humdrum business has you should see more games that can anticipate what you'd like to play next uh and stores that are better at uh taking your feedback and su su suggesting new things to buy uh, we are this could be something like uh, the microsoft azure situation where you have games like titanfall on the xbox one that were a lot of times being rendered on a server somewhere not just on your console how can amazon apply this I think you'll see a lot of that. Maybe they'll start doing uh, off-device uh, uh, rendering so that uh, Kindle Fire feels a little speedier. Could be. Or my Fire Stick will play a version of Halo. You know, you never know. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see as uh, Amazon grows a tech as a technology company what comes out of their doors. Eventually drones. I know drones are coming. Uh, this is Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters. If you want to let me know what you think about this and other stories, awesomecast.net. And of course, you can join us about 7 p.m. Eastern time for the Awesome Cast, the main show of the week where we get together with Chilla and our friends and get geeky talk tech. And so much more from here in Pittsburgh, PA. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.